What's going on guys, Blizzard Will here, and today I'm going to just be showing y'all how to get all those cool themes and colors on FL Studio. I've had a, quite a few people asking me about that, and um, yeah, I'm just show y'all how to switch up your theme, make your FL Studio look cool. But yeah, head over to vocalsearch.shop if you guys need presets, templates, we even got a plugin up there. Um, I'm going to make more stuff, we're always updating vocalsearch.shop. Thank y'all for y'all's support, and uh, I just dropped a new song. It's called Money Spread on all stores. Y'all need to go check that out. I just made a video breaking that down. But yeah, not wasting time. Let's get straight into the video. Let's go ahead and open up uh, my waves template. And you guys can see more about this. So yeah, I've got everything color coded. And starting out, let me just show y'all. So if you double click on a track, you guys can change the color of it. Um, so that's probably the most basic thing. You guys can change whatever color you want. So yeah, I just made that a dark olive green color. Um, so that's just one of the ways you can change the color of your mixer tracks, your faders, whatever. And um, another way you guys can change your icon too. There's a bunch of cool icons right here, basically. Like uh, I'm put a fire icon, yeah. So another way you guys can change the way your mixer looks is I have my thing over here set to extra large. Um, but if you guys want it to look different, you guys can go to compact and I don't know if you have a ton of mixer tracks, that would probably be a decent option. I just think it's better on extra large. Pressing this little uh, stereo properties button right here, you can see it activates blue. Uh, you see that the you can invert it right here and the stereo separation pops up. So that's another thing you guys can add. If you go down here to view, you guys can move this little over here, this uh, plugin bar if you want to call it, this mixing plugin bar. You guys can, uh, it's called the tracked inspector I guess. Um, you guys can choose it on the left or right side. I prefer mine on the left actually. So when I have a preset or whatever, I just drag it straight over here and have it to go all over here. But it doesn't matter too much. I'm pretty sure if you go over here to extra large, it should allow you to see all your different plugins, like a list of the plugins. And if you go to up here and you go to view, um, you guys can see there's like a compact plugin list and uh it just kind of squishes them together compacts them but um yeah i like keeping that on wow and uh another kind of interface deal we got going on here is uh you guys can go to colorful mixer and i have mine set to low but basically the higher you go the more color adds to the mixer go to options and go to theme settings and basically there's several different themes you guys can choose from uh, I personally don't like any of these. I like mine on that basic gray FL Studio. I think they're doing too much, but yeah, if you're trying to change your theme, wow, that will look completely different. Um, and see, it's all pretty cool, but I think the default is the best in my opinion. And how you further um, go into these settings, you guys can do the adjustments down here. You guys can even save a preset of how your FL Studio looks down here. So see when audio starts playing down here, basically you guys can go to your meters and you guys can change all the different, like see when it starts to clip over here, you guys can basically change the color of that. I'm not sure if you want to do that, but, um, and over here, if you guys are trying to change all the text and how these things look, you guys come over here, you choose blue and it switches it up up here. Let me choose a better color, but uh, let's go to steel blue. So yeah, that's how, if you're not trying to do too much and you just want a little bit of color change, I would say come over here. Let's go down to a brighter pink and look, made everything, all the icons pink. You guys can mess more with all of these settings down here, like what I showed you. But yeah, guys, that's mostly how you just switch up the coloring, how you get cooler themes on FL Studio. So I hope y'all enjoyed this just quick little video on how to switch up your color schemes, your themes on FL Studio, how to make your FL Studio look better and more enjoyable. Because I think the color really does matter and um, just the workspace that you're in, it can help for sure. The color coding, um, I don't know, just something about it in your mind. I don't even know how that makes sense. But yeah. 
hope you all enjoyed this video uh head over to vocalsearch.shop get yourself a preset and yeah guys i'll catch y'all later